Welcome to Income Solutions. My name is Jake, and we're going to do a final update on the FCC filing 24-240 by NextNav, a petition for rulemaking to reconfigure the 900 megahertz or the lower portion of the 900 megahertz band. Um, and then we'll just talk a little bit on kind of like staying up to date with this type of activity. I know I'm going to do a better job. This is kind of this has been my first go around with paying attention to this and I realize that there, that there's something I've definitely have been overlooking. So let's take a look at the filing, see in my opinion how successful it is or it has been successful um, in hopefully we'll find out. I don't know how long it takes the FCC to make a ruling, although there's a lot to review. So knowing most uh, government agencies is probably going to take a little while. And yeah, let's take a look. The question I had when you look at this filings over here on the FCC's electronic comment filing system the, or the ECFS um, is if you look at the titles and the you know, proceedings details or detail, doc number, document proceeding title. So WTB, which is uh, the Wireless Telecommunications Bureau, I'm not sure what OT is seeking comments on, next NAV's petition for rule filing. Nowhere in that does it tell me what we're looking at. Even if you look at the tags, GPS, Location and Monitoring Services, LS, or, uh, LMS, and 911. I, if you showed me this prior to this, I would have no idea that this was going to potentially impact the 900 megahertz band. So I was thinking, well, how do I stay more informed so that I can help my audience know about upcoming potential petitions for rule making people trying to companies trying to slice up our bands, whether those are amateur radio bands, ISM bands, anything that might impact people that um, enjoy using radios, and especially in the MCOM or emergency communications world, I felt like I needed to figure this out. And I'm just going to show you kind of what I found. So one is, I'll go back here. Actually, if you go to my links, I of course will provide these links here below. You see that they have <clears throat> RSS feeds and email updates. I'm like, cool, that's probably a good way to maybe keep up to date. There's still going to be a lot of information I'm going to have to filter through. But you come over to this site, there's all kinds of different RSS feeds. I ended up, because I use Brave, I ended up having to install an extension. Uh, and then the one feed I really wanted was airing. And I think it's on the FCC side. So I'm going to try that again in the future. But I, I did get one to work just to make sure that my browser extension was working. I'll show you that here in a second, but you go down, here's the one I wanted, public notices, because on this document, right, there was a public notice for this um, filing. So, and it, it was sent out telling the public and explained what next NAV was petitioning the FCC for. So that is, I think the one I really want, but that one was is not working at the moment. So I will continue to play with that. I also had an issue, big surprise, <laughs> go over to the email part, and I'm not gonna show you my email, but if you wanna get a hold of me, just go over to my website, which will be linked down below, or uh, hit me up through social media, or even here on YouTube, and uh, we can talk. So, um, but, I just don't want to get a bunch of spam. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> but you enter your email in here and you hit subscribe. And it was giving me an error message there too. Because I am in Europe, I do use uh, a VPN. But it depends uh, because some U.S. websites detect that it's a VPN and it'll block me from being able to connect. And then I have some that... Um, detect the fact that I'm not in the United States and they block me. So it's, it's a game I have to play. 
Luckily, I have a VPN router, so I just switch between the two. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of a pain. But anyways, that's beside the point. Those are things. So here's, I used this uh, RSS feed uh, extension for Brave, which is a, it's called Feedbro. And here's the one I ended up using just to see if it was working correctly. And it's for the, where did it go? Yes, right here. So Wireless Telecommunications Bureau. I felt like that was the one I wanted, at least for now, to see what's going on. And it loaded the last 20. I created a folder over here for FCC. But this is a good way to keep um, up to date and check things out. And I can go through and kind of look at these and see if maybe there's something relevant. I will continue, as, as mentioned, to try to add the public notice one so that I can stay up to date. In closing, I want to thank everyone that watched my video, this one and the past videos, and actually went over to the FCC's website and filed a comment. That is super important. I appreciate your support. I appreciate everything you do. If you've watched this long, it means you like this type of content. So please subscribe to the channel. Check out our social media links and other links below. Stay tuned for